So a question I get a lot from students is why do we have to know so much biomedicine where acupuncture is? Well, let's discuss why a little bit and use a few case examples. So I'm going to tell you that in my own clinic, I'm saying around three to five times a week or so, I'm referring back to their GP or something like this, their dentist or someone, ND, to reassess them because I feel like I'm seeing some red flags for a biomedical condition that is out of our scope. So this is a, always happening in clinic and you want to catch those things earlier. Yes, we're great at treating many things, but some things Western medicine is just better at treating, especially a, a really severe acute conditions. Okay, and also for ethical and uh, reasons of the law, we have to refer at certain times when we're seeing red flags. So uh, now, and, but for your exams, your, uh, your big board exams, biomedicine is a huge subject uh, as we go towards regulating, hopefully being in the regular health care system one day. We have to learn where our boundaries are, when do we refer, how do we network properly with Western. Okay, there's my big blah 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 know your biomedicine lecture but let's look at why so let's say you have a patient come into your clinic it's a female she has a new boyfriend for three months i've been having just a really fun time and she says that she's been having some irritation lately in her bladder and when you ask further she says there's some burning and it's a little bit um, uh, cloudy the urine and there's a little bit of retention when she goes and it feels like she's uh, you know urinating razor blades and you go, okay, well, all right, in TCM, that sounds like damp heat in the bladder, maybe even heat toxins in the bladder. Um, and so you go, okay, well, I'll treat that, wonderful. So you give her a treatment, and she comes back the week later, and she says, yeah, you know, I don't feel like a lot of urinary symptoms anymore, but I feel like I have the flu, and my low back is killing me. In fact, it feels like a horse kicked me in the back, like it's bruised. I just really feel unwell. I think I'm coming down with the flu. So you could say, oh, okay, maybe there's an EPI and, and try and release an EPI. But when you take their pulse, you might see that their proximal positions, especially on the left side where the bladder is, is really tense and rapid, right, which is a pain pulse. Uh, and so what do you do here? Do you just treat EPI or what? Well, with the first one, you should have seen a red flag of a UTI. Yes, we can treat UTIs, but your patient should always be warned. If it starts to look like flu-like symptoms, and yes, the urinary symptoms can go away, and that's where it can get really tricky. Uh, if it starts to look like flu-like symptoms, especially with back pain, well, this is immediate referral. This is probably looking like a kidney infection, especially if there's fever and the back pain together, and there may be zero urinary signs, okay? This is a referral. You cannot mess around with a kidney infection. A kidney infection can be fatal. It can scar the kidneys for, for life if it becomes really severe. Here. So you need to know that you need to refer that. All right, let's do another one. A patient comes in. He's a 70 year old male, 70 year old male. He's been having some pain in his spine progressively over the past five years or so. And he says that lately he's just losing weight and he has no idea why. Nothing has changed. His exercise regime is the same. His food intake is the same. He doesn't get it. Well, you could go, well, maybe there's a stasis in the doom meridian, I mean, there's a deficiency. Um, okay, well, I'm going to treat those. No, ding, 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 red flag. When you see things like progressively getting worse um, and losing weight, well, this could be cancer of the spine, let's say. And so there is another referral. Here's another one. Patient comes in, they say, well, you know, every time I eat things like French fries, I love French fries and nachos, I get this pain coming across from my right side right into my stomach. Um, and sometimes it even comes up, it seems like to the back of my, to my back, my, my wing bone is what I hear a lot from patients. And I just can't seem to digest fats and my stomach just really hurts after eating. Okay, well, you could say, hmm, that sounds a little bit like maybe there's... Uh, some liver involved there, gallbladder, um, maybe there's, uh, what else could that be? And you're thinking something around the gallbladder issue, uh, side of things, maybe there's damp heat in the gallbladder because when they eat greasy food, which is damp heat, that's what's causing it. But, ding, 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 this is a red flag for something like cholelithiasis or cholecystitis, so gallbladder inflammation or possibly even gallstones. Uh, maybe they're trying to move or just when they eat the fatty food, the gallbladder has an inflammatory reaction. This also is a referral. Now we do very well in treating this, uh, but still you need to refer so that they're being checked out by their Western medical practitioner. So there is three examples of things you see all the time in clinic. 
all the time. And I could go on and on about a million more cases, but do you know this is why your biomedicine is so important. You have to recognize these things. No, we can't diagnose. I can't say, that looks like it might be perhaps cancer of the spine. No, I can say I have reason to believe there might be a little more going on in that area and I would like to, you to go and see your, your GP or, or primary healthcare practitioner anyways, whoever that is, to have that further assessed. So there you go, biomed, really important. Yes, a giant study. Yes, very important, you'll use it forever in your clinic.